We've been doing a lot of exciting things. Our whole first quarter has been 21st century scientist projects. So we started in January with robotics and then engineering and then physics. And too many people are living there so they have to build a so this week has been an open house kind of culmination of a lot of our STEAM activities. All ages, infant through pre-K, but even more specifically, two-year-olds to five-year-olds have been doing all kinds of things around engineering, critical thinking, designing, Rube Goldberg's machine, um, the list goes on and on. First goes here, and then it goes through this thing, and then it goes here, and then it little black goes, and then it goes through here, and then it does a loop de loop then it goes through here, then it comes out here, then it goes here, and then it goes here, and then here it goes out. Bam! Just like that. That's all there is to it. All kinds of things that they're getting hands-on experience with, and it's learning through play, it's fun, and they have a great time. And then he discovered... <laughs> Children learn best when they can touch, feel, do, and you teach through those senses. So hands-on learning has been proven. That's what we do all year round. Everything we do is hands-on learning. Every year um, we spend about uh, five or six months uh, focusing on chess. They learn about chess through storytelling. So at this age they love stories. They can remember stories. So the first lesson is they learn about each character because they remember the stories. And after 20 weeks of learning each character and missions and secret missions and how they can move, I can walk into the pre-K classrooms, they can tell me every piece, how they're moving, how they play against each other. So whose turn is it now? Um, yeah. Ava. Ava's? Okay. It really helps prepare them for success uh, for learning. You want learning to be discovery based. So these children leave here and they go on to kindergarten top in their class, you know, at a first or second grade reading level. They're inquisitive, they're asking questions, they're able to work in teams. All right, did it work? Yeah. Yes, it did. So you can see all of those valued skills in the workplace and as adults, they start here. They start when they're young and they love it. So we're so proud of our kids. The hands-on learning is, is always the, the best way to learn.